Okay, nice. The stage as well. If anyone's uh, hungry or thirsty, pick up by the main entrance. Thank you. Because of what's happening, because of the seriousness of it, you, you want to call an ambulance, you, you just forget the number, you don't know the number, you've just gone blank. What I do on my cell phone is I have the number of ER24 in 084124. I keep that in my cell phone, on my mobile, uh, just under emergency services, just so that if the, if the need arises, whether you're a witness to one or whether you're actually involved in a collision that involves injuries, you know, you, you don't need to remember because there's so much going on around you. You can pick up your phone, you know it's there. 084124. Question. Yes. Uh, would you like to come forward and just grab the microphone? And we've got some representatives here. I just wanted to know what would have happened if the car was alive and the rescue people was already there. Good question. Uh, let's go to the fire chief. <laughs> It's a difficult situation, but um, unfortunately the fire, if they can get the patient out quickly as possible, and they can, they will do that, because there's no way they can stop the fire, unless he has the DCPs and extinguishers, but push comes to yourself, if you can, let him out, pull him out, otherwise wait on the fire department. And that, that would be, a, a, you know, not an everyday occurrence, but you would come across that. There's petrol on the vehicles, they overturn, they ignite. We have many uh, vehicles, but um, thanks to the grace of God, they'd be always on time where the vehicles burning petrol. Good. So the fire brigade come in, sort it out. Thank you. And one of the other questions I'll ask you, naturally, is your telephone number. That's not to send you an account, but it's in case that the line gets dropped or you lose your cellular communication, they can call you back. <laughs>